Hello, my name is David Lee. Today my presentation is about loyalty, something that we commonly overlook as a good virtue. Loyalty is like a fist that everyone possesses in order to push his problems over to other people to solve. People in a group are certain to push their problems into the pot, which later on will explode with problems for the whole group. When people push away their individual responsibilities because they are in a group, the problem in the group will uh, problems in the group will eventually come back to them. During the 1850s, America had many problems, such as whether or not to allow slavery in new states that it uh, pushed to others to pro uh, to answer. Also, in the uh, in the episode "The Monsters Are Due on Maple uh, Maple Street," normal innocent people who created a group became violent and killed another fellow neighbor. In the 1850s, America pushed many of its issues and responsibilities to others, leading to the Civil War that eventually hurt America. When America was expanding in the 1850s, the American government could not decide whether or not to allow slavery in the new states. If it would have taken sides, people would upgrade it. In, uh, in order to avoid this problem, the U.S. carelessly pushed the problem to the new states so the new states could use popular sovereignty to decide whether or not to allow slavery, something that the U.S. government should have never done. When the, uh, sta uh, when the states was, uh, were open to popular sovereignty, border ruffians, people who illegally voted in another state, rushed in armed with weapons and hindered fair voting. They threatened to shoot normal citizens who wanted to vote fairly. This was one of the biggest issues that led to the Civil War. If the U.S. government wouldn't uh, would have solved this problem instead of pushing it to others to solve, there might have never been such thing as a Civil War. In the episode, The Monsters Are Due on Maple Street from the Twilight Zone, uh, after friendly neighbors formed the group after they had problems with a uh, power outage, they became violent monsters who killed another fellow neighbor. When the po uh, when power went out on Maple Street, neighbors started uh, neighbors started forming a group, accepting the group's values, uh, not taking responsibility for their own problems. However, this brought conflict. Neighbors started scapegoating others for creating the power outage. The group soon became a mob, then a huge, violent monster in itself. When everyone contributed to his problems and used the group to avoid taking responsibility, the group eventually killed another fellow neighbor thinking he cut the power. Everyone in the group had to take responsibility of killing a neighbor. Responsibility for an action could never be, uh, be eluded because one has joined the group. He and everyone else in the group will eventually be responsible when the whole group makes a mistake. Accepting the values of a group is not an excuse to avoid taking responsibility for one's problems. The event that led up to the Civil War, allowing popular sovereignty, was caused because the American government pushed the problem or whether or not to allow slavery to other people. Also, in the uh, in the episode, The Monsters Are Due on Maple Street, by forming a group, all the neighbors took responsibility for the murder of a person by accepting a group's value. One must be, uh, by accepting one, uh, a group's value, you must be able to take responsibility that you have avoided.